Hello there and welcome to the first Destiny 2 quiz, the only quiz that refuses to acknowledge that Cade is dead. This quiz is made up of five sections with five questions each. We're going to start with a true or false round, then go on to a name the gun round, a where in the world is this round, a destiny in numbers round, and then finishing off with a who says that round. So I'll read out the question, show an image or play a sound, and then you'll have 10 seconds to choose your answer while ghost counts down. Make sure you take note of how many you get right and then post your score in the comments. So then statement number one, Nessus is the planet with the most lost sectors. True or false? That is actually false. The EDZ has a whopping 16 lost sectors compared to Nessus's measly five. Moving on, statement number two. Colonel the Chicken can be found where Cade 6 used to be in the tower. That is true. If you head over there now, you will be able to find Colonel just clucking around, having a good old time while Cade is off out, having an adventure or something. I don't know where he's been. I've not heard from him in a while. Statement number three. There are more Crucible maps set on Mars than on Titan. This is true. Meltdown, Solitude and Retribution all take place on Mars, whereas only Wormhaven and Pacifica take place on Titan. In the last Wish raid, there are 10 plates in the Kali encounter. True or false? This is false. There are nine plates in the Kali encounter, six which Guardians stand on, and three incorrect plates. And finally, the Glimmer Drill public event can be found in more locations than any other public event. True or false? This is true. The Glimmer Drill event can be found in eight locations throughout the Destiny 2 worlds. So let's move on to section two. I'm gonna play the sound of an exotic weapon firing and you're gonna work out which one it is of the four available options. I'll play it for a second time during the countdown. So let's start with number one. So number one is indeed Sunshot. On to number two. Number two is Outbreak Perfected. On to number three. That indeed is the sound of Darcy, obviously minus the locking on sound effect. Number four. Number four was in fact truth. Number five. I thought I'd be a bit mean with this one and put three of the trace rifles as options, but yeah, this was indeed cold heart. That is the end of round two. Let's move on to round three, where I'm gonna show you an image taken from a location in Destiny 2, and I want you to work out whereabouts it is. All of the answers will be on a single planet. You need to tell me where on that planet they are from. Number one is either the Endless Gate, the Aphix Conduit, Terra Base Charon, or the Spine Burrows, all located on Io. Where do you think it is? This screenshot was actually taken in the Aphix Conduit Lost Sector. On to number two. Was this screenshot taken in Sorix's Cut, the Empty Tank, Thieves Landing, or Wolf Ship Turbine? Yep, this one was taken in Sorix's Cut, just next to where you start the Rifleman Baron Hunt. On to number three. This is on Mars, but is it in the Glacial Drift, the Dynamo Approach, Mardim Subterrain, or the Penumbral Depths? 
Yep, that one is indeed in the Madim Subterrane Lost Sector. If you go up to the boss area and look up, you'll find this screenshot. So is number four in the Ancient's Haunt, the Watcher's Grave, the Tangle, or the Hallows on Nessus? Number four is in the Tangle, in one of those giant red trees. Number five, this one is in the Dreaming City, but is it in the Diwali Mists, the Chamber of Starlight, the Spine of Kiris, or the Aphelion's Rest Lost Sector. This screenshot was taken in the Chamber of Starlight Lost Sector. If you look up from where the boss is, you can see a little ledge where two taken hobgoblins will snipe the ever-loving daylight out of you. That's where this screenshot was taken from. So then, we're over halfway through. How are you doing? Have you got 15? Have you got 10? Have you got 5? Have you got 0? It doesn't matter as long as you're enjoying the quiz. The next section is Destiny in Numbers. So all of the answers are going to be various numbers referenced in Destiny, whether it's just asking how many of something there are, or more specific questions such as names or ammo counts. Basically anything with a number really. So let's jump in. Number 1. How many strikes are in the PS4 version of Destiny 2 as of Season of Opulence? Is it 13, 14, 15 or 16? There are 15 strikes in the PS4 version of Destiny 2 as of Season of Opulence, 14 in the PC and Xbox versions as you guys do not have the brood hold yet. Don't worry, you're not really missing out, it's a little bit rubbish. Question number two. What is the number after Postmaster Cardi's name? Is it 5530, 5540, 9930 or 9940? The loyal Tower Postmaster Cardi has the numbers 5530 after their name. Question number three. How many landing spots are there on Nessus? Is it two, four, five or six? There are landing spots in the Cistern, the Artifact's Edge, the Watcher's Grave and the Exodus Black, making four landing spots on Nessus. Question number four. How many moats are required for the second invasion in a regular Gambit round? Is it 30, 40, 50 or 60? That's right, it's 50 moats of Dark Banked needed to unlock the second invasion portal in a round of regular Gambit. And finally, question number five. How much triumph score does completing the Shattered Throne solo give you? Is it zero, 50, 100 or 500? Now I promise you I'm not bitter about this at all, but the amount of triumph score that completing the Shattered Throne solo gives you is zero. Okay, so one round left. In this round, I'm going to tell you a voice line from the game, and you have 10 seconds to work out who you think said it. After the 10 seconds are up, I'll play the voice line so you know who it is. Voice line number one. We are not so different, your traveller and I. Is that Zol, the Consul, Gaul, or Callus? We are not so different, your traveller and I. That is Dominus Gaul talking to the speaker aboard his ship. Voice line number two. Here's the thing about city rules. They stop applying once you leave the city. Was that Devrim K, Hawthorne, Amanda Holiday, or Osiris? Here's the thing about city rules. They stop applying once you leave the city. Yep, that one was Hawthorne, taken from the Spark mission where you're about to go into the EDZ's forest and reclaim your light. Voice line number three. Oh my cotton socks, did you not hear what I just said? Was that beautiful line spoken by Cade Six, Zavala, Petrovenge, or Amanda Holiday? Oh my cotton socks, did you not hear what I just said? Hopefully you got that one right. That was from Cade Six when he is trapped on Nessus in the Vex teleportation loop. Voice line number four. I'm not sure I want to know what a monster god feeds on. Was that line from Zavala, Petrovenge, Anna Bray, or Cade 6. I'm not sure I want to know what a monster god feeds on. Anna Bray was the one to say that line in the third mission of the Warmind campaign when you are in the EDZ looking for that shard of the Traveller. And finally, who says this voice line? Twinkle twinkle assholes. Was that Ghost, Sagira, Cade 6 or Anna Bray? Twinkle, 
twinkle twinkle assholes it indeed was ghost this was a voice line that triggers very very rarely at the end of the spark mission when you reclaim your light for the first time it is so rare that the majority of you will never have heard it which is why i thought it was a perfect ending to the first destiny 2 quiz so i hope you've been keeping track of the amount of correct answers that you've been given so let's see how you square up if you got between zero and five correct answers then you are unfortunately a dreg if you got between six and ten you are a vandal if you got between 11 and 15 you are a captain between 16 and 20 you are a kel and if you got somewhere in the range of 21 to 25 congratulations you are a true guardian Hopefully you've enjoyed this first Destiny 2 quiz. If you have, please do leave a like on the video, leave a comment telling us what score you got and subscribe to the channel to get more of these quizzes. You should definitely send these to all of your favourite content creators to find out how they fare and if their Destiny knowledge is up to scratch. But for now, I've been Clumsy Danny, thank you very much for watching the first Destiny 2 quiz and I'll see you guys next time.